Hello everyone, this is Running On Empty Food Review. Hello, good evening, welcome, Running On Empty Food Review. I know we've been following these reviews so closely, so you saw this coming a mile away. In the last review I said, you know, there's not a lot to review, but next video is going to be the extra most bestest pizza from Little Caesars. And that's what this is. It's the extra most bestest pizza. I can independently verify that it is, because look, extra most bestest. So the box doesn't lie. That's what it is. Now the extra most bestest pizza from Little Caesars is a new menu item. What is it exactly? It's, it's, it has the best name ever. Extra Most Bestest. It's gotta have a lot on it, right? Now get ready for this. There's no other pizza in the entire planet that has what this pizza has. This is a large pizza with extra cheese and extra pepperoni. I've never heard of that before, have you? Extra Most Bestest. Uh, sarcasm aside, though, the Extra Most Bestest pizza is Little Caesars trying to say, hey, we can do a pizza better than any place else, and uh, we can have extra cheese and extra pepperoni on it, and it's just going to be awesome. As a matter of fact, I like to say, you know, it's, it has extra more cheese and pepperoni on this pizza than any other pizza in the entire country. And here is what it looks like, ladies and gentlemen. And there it is. It's me with the extra most bestest pizza. It's not the just, it's not the bestest pizza. It's the extra most bestest pizza. It does have a lot of pepperoni on it. I mean, you compare the pepperoni distribution on this pizza, ladies and gentlemen, uh, you know, to a hot and ready pizza, for instance, and you can't compare the two. This does have a lot more pepperoni on it, admittedly. Let's, let's grab a slice here. Uh, you know, again, it's greasy, it's oily, has some good pepperoni on it though. Looks like some good cheese too. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to try it and I'll let you know how it is. And that's really all that it has on it. No other special flavorings or anything. Just extra cheese, extra pepperoni, standard sauce on a standard crust. Alright, so it's the extra most bestest pizza from Little Caesars going in. Slowly working our way to the crust. Hmm. No I will I'd say it, it's not bad. No, it's not bad. All right. Well, I have one problem with it. I think it tastes fine. I will say that outright, and if you want to end uh, the video right now, you can do so. It tastes fine. There's nothing wrong with it. But I have one problem, and that's with the marketing of this. Now, I admittedly am, 
you know, a pretty avid consumer of pizza. It's uh, undoubtedly one of my favorite foods. And, you know, I like getting pizza quite often. Um, lately, I've been going to Papa John's. Sometimes I go to Pizza Hut, Domino's, even Little Caesars. I have one problem, though. When I go to these establishments, I'll occasionally get a pizza. I'll just order it, you know, sometimes even without any additional charge. Extra pepperoni. The statement that this extra most bestest pizza has the most cheese and pepperoni in the entire country is complete and utter, it's, it's a lie, essentially. I mean, I've gotten more pepperoni on, the, on, a, on a large pizza if I get extra pepperoni on it at Pizza Hut or even sometimes Papa John's. So the marketing is just, you know, it's just trying to, to get a pizza for a little extra pepperoni and cheese and try and make it sound like it's the best thing ever. Now, all that stuff aside, what does it really taste like? I don't have a problem with it, to be honest. I actually enjoy it. I don't have a problem with it. I think it's actually pretty good. Uh, it, it's, it's better than the hot and ready pizza, to be quite honest. And uh, for the price of $6, you know, I would outright recommend it. Uh, when it comes to the actual flavors thereof, you got to be ready. When you bite into this pizza, of course, it's not going to be the highest quality in the world. The base of the pizza can be a little spongy at times. Um, but that's just how Little Caesars pizza is. That's just the nature of the beast, you can say. That's just how it always has been and always will be. You just have to be ready for that texturally. Uh, otherwise, though, the pizza is very oily. It's very greasy and fatty. Um, but that's to be expected. And sometimes with that oil comes some extra flavor as well. It has a good deal of pepperoni on it. Uh, again, more so than the hot and ready pizza. If you really want to, you can actually go back in time, look at the pizza review I did for the Hot and Ready Pizza. You can compare the pepperoni distribution, and there's a lot more on this. Uh, the pepperoni itself has its own juices, its own flavors. Um, you know, it has a nice little spiciness as well. Uh, the pizza is, is very salty too. Um, but overall, it's just a fatty pizza, but it's good. It's enjoyable, and the way the sauce actually mixes everything together is pretty nice. The sauce has a nice little tang to it. Uh, and that kind of offsets all the greasy, fatty, saltiness of the cheese and pepperoni. So, you know, it's, it's overall, it's a, nice, it's a nice pizza. It's a good quality pizza. Um, and I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. And again, for the price of $6, I say just get the extra most bestest pizza over the hot and ready pizza any day. I, I highly recommend that because you're getting a tremendous quality increase uh, when it comes to this pizza. Now, again, there's only one problem that I have with this pizza because taste... It's on point, and I really don't have anything to criticize about it. The one thing that I do have to mention about this, and I said it earlier, is just the marketing. P please, please keep, you know, be mindful of this, you can say. When it comes to how they market this pizza, they will try and cast forth the false illusion, you can say, that this pizza is just going to be so incredible, and it's going to have, it's the extra most bestest, and, you know, it has all this, it's teeming with flavor. Um, but just remember, it's a good pizza, but truth be told, it's pretty standard. There's nothing incredibly special about it, and they will try and put forth this assertion that there is. It's a very good pizza. It's kind of like a pizza with extra pepperoni, and that's really it. I didn't taste a huge increase in cheese at all. Um, please be mindful of that, but putting that aside again, it is tasty, it's flavorful, and I enjoyed it. I really... I think this is probably my favorite pizza from Little Caesars at this point. I think they did a good job with it, and uh, I enjoy it quite a bit. And the price, well, you can't beat it. If you're getting quality like this for six bucks, I mean, you can't, you can't complain. So I think they did do a good job on this, despite the, the marketing issues. And uh, I just enjoyed it thoroughly, and I think you will too. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, out of ten, what am I going to be rating the extra most bestest pizza from Little Caesars? And I think the name is silly, but... Not going to factor that into the rating. Out of 10, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to rate this pizza... I'm going to give it a 9.2 out of 10. I've been rating things pretty high lately, but this is good. It deserves its rating. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, that's all that I have for you. Sip of water. I'm your host of the Port of the Week, and today's review was for the extra most bestest pizza from Little Caesars. Thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen, and take care. We'll see you another day, and now I'm going to shut the camera off.